There's nothing like spending Labor Day with the family and good food and good friends. Oh, God, what a charade. <laughs> oh, Al Bundy. What a great guy. Not to be confused with Ted Bundy, of course. We don't endorse that kind of stuff around here. Or maybe he does have something in common with Ted. Do you remember this scene from Married with Children? Did you miss me? With every bullet so far. <laughs> Zinger! While many people do assume that the Crass Bundy family was named after the notorious serial killer Ted Bundy, well this simply isn't true. The Bundy family was actually named after the famous wrestler King Kong Bundy. And somehow this makes even more sense. Oh, down on his luck Al Bundy was someone that many dads related to in the 80s and 90s. The Bundy clan was dysfunctional to say the least. Al's wife was lazy, his son had some attention problems, and his daughter, well, she was pretty wild. And Al Bundy wasn't the perfect father like many of his television counterparts were. Heck, Married with Children didn't push a lesson that had to be learned each week. Rather, this show was funny and relatable, something that was drastically missing from other utopia families on the screen each night. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, and I never want to be as miserable as Al Bundy was in his life, but Ed O'Neill, the man behind the Bundy, had a pretty great life himself. So let's jump on in and see if we can uncover 10 things we didn't know about him. If you enjoy this Al Bundy deep dive, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Will the real Al Bundy please stand up? One of the reasons that Ed O'Neill was so good at playing Al Bundy is because he based his mannerisms of the character from people he knew in real life, his friends and his family. At the start, his hometown didn't carry the station that his show aired on, so he thought he had nothing to worry about. Until Married with Children became so popular that his hometown started airing the new Fox network, perhaps making some awkward family reunions. Speaking of awkward, O'Neill had an ongoing feud with a fellow castmate. Neighborly Feud Ed O'Neill had a long-standing feud with fellow cast member Amanda Burse, who played the Bundy's next-door neighbor. The two disagreed about basically everything, and eventually resorted to avoiding each other while on set. When asked in interviews about their feud, both stars gave differing answers, with Amanda calling Ed a bully, and Ed retorting with, well, you're miserable. And then Ed did explain to her that if he wanted, he could pull the strings and have her booted from the show, something she did not have the power to do. Nowadays, Ed admits that this was a very mean thing to say, but heck, maybe Al was going to his head. And this resulted in Ed O'Neill and David Faustino being the only two cast members not invited to Burse's wedding. Because as a gay woman, she was afraid they would laugh at the sight of two women in tuxedos. Which, during a 2013 interview, Ed O'Neill admitted that he probably would have. What is funny about two women in tuxedos walking down the church aisle? <laughs> I started laughing. And she said, see? Football Scholarship O'Neill won a football scholarship to Ohio University, but he didn't study very much, and the next year he transferred to Youngstown University still playing football. He actually participated in training camp with the Pittsburgh Steelers, but was cut partly due to the fact that he was competing with another position player, none other than defensive lineman Mean Joe Green, you know, the guy who trades jerseys for Cokes. And Ed had a nice football callback when he coached the Dallas Cowboys, or at least the Pee Wee Cowboys in the 1994 kids comedy Little Giants. And if you haven't seen this kids flick, you should. O'Neill and Rick Moranis play rival coaches, and it's actually a really funny movie. Ed O'Neill, a historian. Al Bundy worked as a woman's shoe salesman, and he was always looking for ways to improve his life, but they always seemed just out of his reach. Poor Al. Not to be confused with poor Richard from Benjamin Franklin's Almanac, of course. Or maybe you missed that part of history class. Well, Ed didn't, because O'Neill majored in history in college and went on to become a social studies teacher at his alma mater high school before he dove headfirst into acting. 
Maybe I'm tired of being with you. You'll get tired when I get tired. And let's just take one moment to imagine how exciting his class must have been. Shoe Store Star Ed O'Neill's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is ironically and incredibly in front of a DSW shoe store. He couldn't escape the job even in real life. Speaking of jobs, the story of how Ed O'Neill landed the role on Married with Children is actually pretty cool. The job of Al Bundy kind of fell into Ed's lap. During the audition process, he walked through the door, gave a big sigh with defeat, and slumped his shoulders. It was exactly what the casting directors were looking for. A spontaneous moment that changed O'Neill's life forever. Can you hear me now? Ed O'Neill was a good guy at heart. Nothing like his TV character. He would even find the time to call fans on their birthday or special occasion and say hi while staying in the Al Bundy mode, which meant that he would only call them collect, incongruent with Al's cheapskate nature. Operator, I gotta go get my wallet. Out of the way, woman! <laughs> Two pina coladas and a job, please. For all of Al Bundy's efforts to try and improve his life, it never worked because he wound up right back where he started. Ed O'Neill appeared as Al Bundy in all 260 episodes of the show. And get this, Ed was on vacation when he found out that his own show was being canceled. The radio was talking about the show's recent cancellation when a newlywed couple approached him and began asking about his thoughts on the matter. At the time, O'Neill had no idea the show had had been cancelled. The couple apologized, but Ed said that he would rather have heard it from them. Don't shoot the messenger, right? Well, Ed didn't. He even bought them a bottle of champagne as a thank you. Al Bundy's bad luck had spilled over into Ed O'Neill's real life, but not for long. O'Neill assumes the real reason the show was cancelled was because the local stations who carried reruns of the series begged them to stop the madness. Because the rights were so expensive that stations reportedly paid paid Sony $1 million per episode. Yikes. And Ed also envisioned a different ending for the show. He pitched to producers that Al Bundy wins the lottery, then has his house hit by a tornado taking out everything in its path. The celebration would have been swept away just like the rest of the show. Money, money, money. Ed O'Neill was one of the highest paid actors in TV history. At the height of his paycheck, he earned a whopping half a million dollars per episode. 500,000 smackaroos. Not a bad paycheck for a disgruntled shoe salesman. Hey, do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? <laughs> Black Belt Ed. Did you know that Ed O'Neill has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? He's been practicing the art form for over 22 years. So in a fight between Ed O'Neill and the real King Kong Bundy, now we have some wagers to take. Uh oh. <laughs> Everyone has a podcast. Yes, Ed O'Neill also does have a podcast, and it's called The Undercovers, which is actually a thriller, where the first season explores the life of DEA agent Edward Fallis, aka the most dangerous man in the world. It's on Apple Podcasts if you want to check it out. Al Bundy will forever be one of the greatest, rudest, funniest TV fathers of all time. So let's talk. Where does he rank on your television pops list? Get in the comments and let's share some Al Bundy memories, favorite scenes, and great quotes. And what's another TV character we should dive into next? If you enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you never miss a memory. From all of us here at Do You Remember, thanks very much for watching. I am truly king.